Hi everybody. So this is a 4.0 liter V6 engine for a 2004 Ford Explorer. And I just removed the rear main seal. And here's the old one I took out. Uh, and you can see it's pretty mangled up uh, because what I tried to do, uh, according to the removal instructions, is I used a wood screw like this and put it into the side of the seal and then tried yanking it out using a pair of vice grips. Uh, which there's plenty of videos online showing you how to do this and it works fine. Uh, but in the case of this particular seal, it didn't work. And it actually, uh, the screw ripped out of most of the spots where I tried screwing it into. Uh, so, what's unfortunate about that, I mean, obviously I got it out eventually, so that's good. Um, but what's unfortunate is that this screw, this common wood screw, uh, did quite a bit of damage to the end of the crankshaft. So, I think I have six places where it did damage. So, first here, on the left side, there's a couple scratch marks uh, from when the screw was being turned into the seal. Basically, when the screw was being run into the side of the seal, it was a little bit too close to the crank and marred the side of it. And then on this side, same thing. There's a very tiny one right there from where it hit. And then a little bit larger one right there also from where it hit. Uh, but up top is the worst. Uh, there's three places where I tried, you know, I tried putting the screw in here and pulling it out, that didn't work. I tried there and pulling it out. And actually this top one is the, finally the one that actually worked. Um, but you can see it did quite a bit of damage to the crank. Um, you know, it just, uh, it tore it apart. So I've already gone over it with emery cloth. I uh, basically tried using some 120 grit, it's aluminum oxide emery cloth. And I ran this across uh, this end of the crank, I don't know, two or three times. And then cleaned it out with some brake clean and just a regular paper towel. I uh, did that two or three times. And then I tried some 240 grit much softer emery cloth and did that two or three times and then wiped it out again with brake clean, uh, paper towels, and then finally blew it out with shop air. And this is the result. So, this end part right here, so basically the portion from about halfway down out towards the edge, I know it looks bad, but I'm really not too concerned with that uh, because of where the ceiling surface actually is. So uh, if we look at the old seal, for example, you know, the seal sits basically flush at the edge of the block. And then if we look at the cross section, you see the ceiling ring is actually closer to the inside edge. So just as a rough guess, it's about three eighths of an inch in from the end of the crankshaft, just based on how this seal is laid out. So for these gouges right here, uh, even though they look terrible, they're really not detrimental so much because they're on this edge of the crank, which there's no ceiling taking place there. So this part's not gonna hurt it. Uh, but it's really when you get further in that there's more of a problem. So if we just rough it out about halfway down the surface of the crank, that's roughly where the seal rides. So it's these inner little nicks that are really the problem. Uh, so there's not a lot I can do about it. Uh, you know, what's done is done. And it's just gonna have to be one of those things, you know, hopefully the seal is riding and the, 
in a spot where these nicks aren't going to be at. But because they're kind of staggered, it's really going to be hard to get it lined up in that position. Uh, plus, it's very minor. Uh, running the emery cloth over these surfaces has already knocked the big chunks off. So there's really nothing too sharp that could damage the seal. Uh, but still having that gap uh, is going to probably end up causing an oil leak. Uh, how much is yet to be determined, but I'm sure there's going to be somewhat of an oil leak when this is all done. So, if you're going to pull the rear main seal on your Ford Explorer, right, or you know, any other of the Ford products that use the 4 liter V6, uh, be very careful about where you put the screw into the seal. Uh, theoretically, you should be able to go anywhere on this outside surface uh, where it's hard. So not this very outer edge, but basically right between there, because that part's metal. Uh, however, like what happened with this one, uh, the screw may possibly just rip right out and not pull the seal with it. So you might want to look at an alternative method to pulling the seal out if you run into a problem like this. So, pretty uncool, but not the end of the world. So, anyway, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching, and if you like my videos, please subscribe.